Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Dark Cloud. We're just going to jump straight into the dungeon because I'm pretty sure we did Georama last time before we left. So, Let's see what floor we're on. Territory four. I guess they're not floors in this dungeon, they're territories, but same idea. This floor has no Atla on it, so, yep. I had a feeling it was going to be a special floor. Limited zone, as, as they're called. was actually super risky. I forgot that sometimes the weapons can waste two durability, so I probably shouldn't have done that. But it worked out in the end. Also, I should have done all this repairing and stuff before I went back in here. That's just my bad for not being prepared. Oh well. Hopefully it works out. Also, do we have a attribute on this slingshot? We do, okay. Just wanna make sure. Yeah, how's everyone doing? Hope you're looking forward to some more Dark Cloud. It's always fun to play and kind of zone out, which I kind of honestly need right now. Stressing out ever so slightly. I won't bother you guys with the details though. We got a shiny stone. If we find the exit, which we did, we can see if this is what he wants right away. All right, where is it? Nope, he does not want the shiny stone. Jeez. Oh, we got a big chest. I must you want to bet that's probably a mimic. Or at least one of these has to be a mimic. There's no way they spawn two chests that close together. Yeah. Oh, it's real. Let's see. I'm going to go explosion this time. I should have just stuck with my gut and went poison. I know they're always poison in this dungeon. Oh, well, down the hatch. Now we know what it is. Ooh, and we get a new sword for Tone. Very nice. That's pretty decent. 30 attack, thunder, and it has good, uh, good durability on it as well. We could, so I'm pretty sure all weapons in the game you can build up to for the most part. I mean, this bone rapier has its uses, I suppose. Well, we'll just leave it this way. I was going to change the order of the weapons, but that's eh, fine. So yeah, I don't know if you guys saw. I don't know when this is going to go up, so it might have been a little bit um, a while ago. But I released a post talking about like kind of the channel structure and how I want to do things. I mentioned some of the uh, some of the series I want to run, like the Metroidvania Monday and Obviously, it's not like perfect and it's not um, probably all I'm going to do because I noticed there's no roguelites on there and I like roguelites too. Roguelites and roguelikes. So that's something that we can fit in there. Uh, when do you guys mention Pokemon? I've never been a huge fan of Pokemon, but I do play the games or I have at least. 
The Pokemon game that I probably played the most is probably Pokemon Diamond back on the Nintendo DS. And that was back when my brother was into Pokemon too, so he had, uh, I think he had Pearl. Maybe we had, um, what was the third version, the separate version, Platinum? I might have had Platinum because it had like the player homes in the caves that you could decorate and I'm pretty sure that was a platinum feature if I'm not mistaken but I remember playing that game a ton and my brother was into Pokemon too so we would trade together we would go through the story at the same time and talk about it it was fun But other than that, I don't really play a whole lot of Pokemon. I like keep like, I'll play like the new ones, hoping they'll, <laughs> I don't want to say be good, but it honestly feels like that. They've just kind of been hit or miss for me. Like cool ideas just executed so poorly. Like I remember how, I was going to try and heal. Oh, we're going to have to leave with half our dosh, unfortunately. If you had to finish my thought, I remember people were so disappointed in Sword and Shield when it initially came out because they were like the first Pokemon game, you know, on a console. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be open world, but it wasn't quite what people were thinking. All right, we don't have a store. If we want to go to the store, we're going to have to go back to the village, which is fine. All right, we only have 680 gil as well because we died and lost half, so we got to be careful. Um, okay, those do three water. But yeah, people were disappointed in... Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield and then Arceus was coming out and I remember that being pretty hyped too like I remember being hyped for that personally and it was almost there it's just I don't know if Nintendo really like if the Switch 2 comes out which there's been rumors and it actually has a decent inside like the guts are good and it's strong and powerful enough to at least be like I'm not asking for like a NASA computer Nintendo but like if you could at least keep up with Xbox and Sony, that would be nice. I want to see a Legend of Zelda game like that demo for the Wii U. You remember that? All right, I'm getting distracted. But there was that demo. There was that demo for the Wii U that was showing off like its power back at an E3 once upon a time. And it showed off the Zelda footage that was just the, it was just supposed to show off the tech of the uh, console. But it was like if Twilight Princess was made in Unreal, it was kind of like the look that it had. Just imagine modern day graphics, Zelda or Mario. I mean, I don't know how you would do it with Mario because Mario has always been kind of a cartoon like character. If you made him realistic, he would just look like a middle aged man. Get some more repair powders. I think we're good on uh, water. We got a bunch. We need more bread though, probably. We might need more antidotes, but we should be good. We do have an, an amulet. These only work if you have them equipped, so I could just get rid of them. Although I might get rid of the antidotes and put them in my inventory and then replace them with one of the the amulets though so maybe we'll keep them we'll get rid of the tram oil and the back rooms items just because i wish i could buy back i'd buy back one of those actually so we could go to at least go to one back room this is this is really good it's basically everything cure all we got three stand in three revival how are the weapons full and no, that one isn't. That's fine. Wise Owl Forest. Let's go back and try that again. Yeah, going back to Pokemon. Arceus was okay. Scarlet and Violet. 
I'm just going to say that it's just a huge disappointment in my opinion. Like that runs so bad. At least in my personal experience when I played it, I don't know if they ever fixed it. But it was hard to play. And it just doesn't look very good overall. A lot of pop in. They should honestly just come up with their own like live service Pokemon game. Just take a long time. Awesome, we got new Sundew, that's awesome. But take a long time to develop, you know, the next game and make it the best it could truly be and just have it be live service. You're constantly updating it. That'll be your main Pokemon game as long as you get it right initially. Have it be open world. You can slowly add DLC, make it bigger. Maybe have all the Pokemon, like a national dex instead of just the whatever region it's in. Maybe travel to different regions. Like I could get into Pokemon if it was something like that. But that doesn't say, that's not to say that I won't play any on the channel. Oi. That's something we could do. We could play through all the games. I'm just not very good at them. Like there's some, you ever watch people like Small Ant or some of the other bigger um, Poke YouTubers? It seems like they get used to what all the moves do, what Pokemon learned, what moves at what level. That just seems like too much to learn, to be honest with you. Considering there's like, I don't know, couple thousand Pokemon. I don't know how you can remember all that information. All right, I think we got a strawberry, right? We did. So we have one dungeon item. I did say I was going to get rid of the uh, antidotes and replace them with an amulet. We'll do poison. Shove our bread up in our quick slot here. And yeah. I'm really looking forward to the randomizers though. I think that'll be fun. I just get to play Zelda, you know. And I think they're interesting enough that people like watching them. I enjoy watching randomizers. Pair of the slingshot. Yeah, I don't know. I, it would be cool to stream. Somebody asked me about streaming. The reason I don't really stream too often is because... So, I guess a little history about my uh, health. I have two... Well, we'll start with... I have a back disease that I've had since I was in middle school, or at least I was diagnosed in middle school. And that makes it hard to sit for extra long periods of time. You know, I could take like painkillers and it's not so bad, but that's not something I want to do just to stream longer, you know? It doesn't always hurt me, but it is something that can happen and be annoying. So I just don't stream very often or for very long, usually. And then the second thing is, is I have a back injury that I got a couple of years ago that I still don't know what is wrong. I've been to the doctor and nobody knows. There's no diagnosis as far as I know for it. So that's been causing me not to work lately. Hence the stress. But those are the main reasons. 
I mean, as long as people are understanding, I guess, in the chat, I could always just take breaks constantly. I just feel like people get annoyed. Stand up and walk around a little bit or lay on the floor for like five minutes every hour. Just feel like people would rather go watch someone else. But I don't know. That's just assuming. All right, we got a shiny stone and strawberry. Was deciding whether or not it'd be worth it to fight all these guys. Somehow I still haven't found the uh, compass or map. I don't know how I managed that. But there we go. We got all the pieces that we need, so... Don't know if treasure is worth looking for since there's no Atla up by the uh, start. I could have gone right there. So we're just going to leave. Yeah, in case you were wondering, that's why I don't stream. And just upload my streams because it's kind of hard. Well, it's a good thing we stayed and got that uh, nut, because it's what he wanted. Could just go to the next floor, because Tone hasn't seen any action yet. I just realized we have full abs too. I wonder how long ago we've had that. Got distracted. You want to make sure you upgrade your stuff as soon as you can, otherwise you're just wasting experience, so. There we go, we got a level five. Um, we don't really have a whole lot. We could use speed and more wind. We could status break too and put it on the, the uh, bone slingshot. There's no dragons, I don't think, in this dungeon. We're mostly going to see plant monsters and maybe mages flying. Um, fire might be good here. In case we need to play as Xiao again. Could just go ahead and upgrade again. Yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty juicy now. This chopper is probably pretty cool. What we could do is we could status break this dagger and put it on the chopper and use that as our main weapon. Might actually do that. Well, we're close to leveling it up, so let's level it up one more time. We'll uh, pump up the holy. It's got good magic, right? Now we still do more magic on it. These are the attributes, right? Or are these the attributes? Okay, yeah. So magic power increases the power of these. So we'll throw on a magic power as well. And holy. Level this bad boy up. Haley holy, huh? Dude, get punched. I mean, kicked. <laughs> I guess they kick. All 
All right, we got some more Atla on this floor. Oof. Luckily, I think the fire is good against those guys. Yeah, 100 subscribers already. I know I keep saying it, but it is just boggles my mind. That's why I've been like focusing on like schedule and trying to get I don't know, just like a, a good the groundwork done for a channel that's not just, you know, me winging it. Have some actual cool content. I would love to uh, be able to hire artists as well to do thumbnails, like some of the more popular YouTube's creators. I think that's like a perfect way to support artists and then also have nice thumbnails as well. I could do like a different artist every uh, every video, which would be fun. Uh, I should, well, I guess it's whatever. We're already over here and I have Dran's Feather. I don't know why I forgot about that. Gooey Peach. I think that's two keys now, right? Yeah. I'm gonna ignore this mimic, because what are the chances that he has the uh, last key? We could go, well, I kind of want to go explore the back rooms. Let's do that. See what kind of loot we can find back there. Yeah, this game, I could share some of the stories I have playing this game as a kid. I remember at one point in elementary, we uh, spent time with my sister who was a lot older than us. Both my sisters are pretty older than I, me and my brother. But my oldest sister, she had her own house. And I remember we might have been struggling or something financially. And I remember we went and lived with my sister in elementary school. But my sister's a big gamer too. And so she had a PlayStation 2, GameCube. She had a ton of games. I think she's big on Final Fantasy. But Dark Cloud was one of the games that she had, and it was basically how I got into it. I didn't mean to zoom in there. And uh, my brother, my nephew, and I would uh, play this game together. And this game's not multiplayer by any means, but because it had party members, We could just take turns initially as tone, but once we unlocked new allies, we would uh, pick an ally that we would play as that would be our character. And then obviously whenever a floor, a limited zone made you play as a certain character, 
you would swap or we did if somebody died you would swap and i think we swapped every floor every dungeon floor as well which uh was pretty good we all got pretty good time to play uh, and i cannot think and talk apparently what am i doing in my inventory right weapon it's gonna change my attribute try and find something that's more effective against this mage what I could do here is actually just swap for ranged seven damage with uh, I think we have wind on and tone was already fire. I don't think it did anything. Um, which, which is, I don't even know what they'd be weak to. They're all pumped up, which is like that status buff that makes you do more damage. Yeah, it worked out pretty well because we died pretty often. Because this game, I mean, isn't easy, especially if you're seven or whatever the heck we were. Eight. I mean, my nephew and brother were younger than me, so. Maybe that's why I feel like the playtime was fair is because I was playing all the time. I don't know. That seems like a big brother uncle thing to do. No, that's totally fair, and I get most of the playtime. That's the good thing about like little brothers and stuff though, is they don't understand. At least when they're young. They're just happy to be there, which is funny to me. Right, I'm still on lightning. Let's go back to fire. These guys provide very juicy XP though. So even though it's harder and they do more damage, it is kind of worth fighting them because you can really level up back here and the loot's good. And we lost our, dra or our trans feather finally. But we got more, so no big deal. Uh, and that was an empty room. Wow, same with this. That's crazy, not even enemies. We got full abs. We did put the stuff on, right? We did, let's upgrade. Beautiful. Status break. You lose 40% of your attributes in stats, but is that okay? I mean, we wanna use a better weapon, right? So I feel like we might as well. Cause I don't know how much we wanna keep leveling the same weapon. Hmm. I'm gonna do it just for the sake of like trying out different stuff and we'll go to our chopper and we'll put that bad boy on there look at that dude the speed is insane we only carried over one of the fire but yeah, I mean, not bad overall, I would say. I'd say it was worth it, especially for the stat increases. 69 endurance, nice. 
And we'll just add an attack on there and make it a sweet 40 attack. Yeah, look at that. Now we're cooking. sad dude I should have paid more attention to my health they're headbutts man you can't get close without getting absolutely wrecked I actually should have saved this guy for tone because we don't know what the mage's weakness is. Uh, let's go ahead and use a revival powder. We gotta test out the new weapon. Try holy on the witch. Oh, what? I didn't realize our amulet was gone. Um, can't hot bar normal repair powder. Well, I don't think. I mean, obviously this witch poisons, so we don't have to worry about like. Tone is just not having a good day, dude. To be fair, that witch attacked like super fast. I was not expecting that. Like the attack animation is she brings out an apple and throws it. But for some reason, I was getting double hit up close. And it just drained my health. I'm not risking it. Curse amulet. Are you guys weak to fire? We hit for six right there. Seven. We can block. I don't know why you would block with a slingshot, but... Just wait until we're more buff, man. Alright, let's get out of here. Too bad we can't, like, set Tone in the water and heal him. I don't want to waste another revival powder. I don't think it's worth it. Well, I don't think I got all the Atla. And I don't really feel like replaying it. So I guess we'll just revive him again. 
That's why I have it. So yeah, we'll take the boat back. Yeah, going back to the uh, playing this game with my nephew and my brother. Super fun. We had a blast. We got, we almost beat the game, essentially. I think we were close to the last boss, maybe one of the last areas. And uh, we did that classic thing where it was like dinner time or something. And we were just like playing and not coming or it was bedtime, right? And we really needed to shut off the game. And uh, we were about to get in trouble. And so <laughs> what we did one day is like my sister heard us still playing, was coming to scold us. So we immediately saved and went to uh, you see that chest over by that water since I've already been in that room and I uh, would have grabbed that chest that is definitely 100% a mimic but anyway since she was coming into the room and we were playing and we weren't supposed to we decided to save and quit real quick and so that's what we did but while it was saving we shut the PlayStation 2 off. Because we were like trying to shut the game off and get into bed as to not make the punishment as severe. But we didn't realize what we had just done. Because you see, if you shut your game, like, do you see those warnings that say don't shut the console off when it's saving and stuff? It, yeah, they mean it. Like, don't do that. Because you know what ended up happening? We got our save file corrupted. And we went to play it the next day after school. And we couldn't load the save. Because it would just say that the save data was corrupted. And we had gone through the whole game. And like I said, we were like one of the last areas I remember. And I remember us being so disappointed. So disappointed for like a couple hours, but then we immediately got over it and started playing again because that's what kids do. If that happened to me though now as an adult, you bet you I probably would have just gave up. I would have just said, guess we're not playing this game for another 10 years. Which is what I did to Twilight Princess when I got my save file overridden by my niece. I was at the last boss on that as well. I wasn't really mad at my niece. That's what I get for uh, not making sure that she didn't save over it because I should have realized that. You know, the game prompts you to save multiple times and it chooses the fire or like the first file, I think, or maybe the file that you're already on. So like, obviously, if you're playing a new game, and my like it was on file three and my save was on file one it's gonna default to file one oh well this was back in high school middle maybe late middle school maybe it wasn't quite high school yet yeah you live and you learn i can tell you i've never corrupted a save since or overwritten a save on accident All right, I think we're done.
No nut this time. Maybe he wants a strawberry. He does. I'd say we just go to the next floor. We're not going to go to the back rooms this time, so... Man, the enemies can really combo you in this if you're not... ...more careful. That's another thing about this game that makes it kind of jank is like you saw when I was trying to I was like um, <clears throat> Trying to use the block for the witch like to try and make use of it But like their AI Tells them to just spam attack if you're close And like if you're tone you need to get close in order to be in range So like you can try to block to get close, but then they just spam attack Block is almost pointless to me because of that very reason. I mean, it's good if you're like a bullet or a wave of projectiles or something that's coming at you, you can reduce your damage, but the fact that it wastes weapon durability, I feel like you're better off just strafing. Because most of the time strafing works, it just depends on the attack speed of your enemy. Yeah, like this is uh, ridiculous, right? And I keep, for some reason, I have it in my head that you can stun lock. Like it's supposed to stop them from attacking. But that isn't necessarily the case, or at least their uh, recovery time is very short. Also, it doesn't stop status effects either, so. Dude, the witch just used instant transmission on me, dude. Disappeared. My God, there's four Atla in this room. Chopper's abs are full. We definitely don't need more speed. We probably could use more magic power instead of attack, though. So let's do that and upgrade. Hey, we got a star. Don't know what that means. We can't build up. Oh, I forgot you can check what attributes you need to build up. Okay. So for this one, magic power and ice and mage buster. So this is like, I guess they all require magic powder. Like this one also requires 25 magic power. But this one also requires ice, wind, and holy. Like I said, I don't remember what weapons build into what. So I'm assuming the one with the more attributes is probably a more devastating weapon overall. This one's good against mages, which would be helpful in the current situation. Only requires ice. Huh. I think it says what their names are once you reach requirements. So maybe we'll just build for the ice first. We need it anyway. I, I don't know. Guess we'll see what parts we get. We do have Mage um, Buster right now, or Mage Slayer. We don't have any ice, though. What's a pearl do? Undead and Thunder. Oh my goodness, and their endurance increase as well. Maybe we'll save that for uh, Xiao, and we'll wait to see if we get any other attributes in the future.
Yeah, look at that. That increase in endurance is pretty damn good. And I think we'll just keep going speed. I think speed's pretty cool for the... Slingshot. This is kind of an interesting map. All right, we got three more repair powders. So I'd say after this, we should probably go get some more. Um, items. Alright, what do you say guys? Poison? Yep, dude, I'm telling you. Second area, it's always poison. Bandit slingshot. Ooh, this is the one that steals items from monsters. Very nice. We can do the same thing we did with Tone. We can get to level 7 with the slingshot. Status break it, put it on the bandit slingshot, and we'll use the bandit slingshot for a while. Yeah, steel, that's a cool ability. We uh, got a, quite a few uh, Georama parts too, so it would have been a good idea to go back anyway at this point. I think it would be fun to stream this game. I think I mentioned it last episode, but... For all the grinding that this game has, it would be fun to just stream that. Just hang out. I just don't know any, if anyone would be interested in watching somebody do the same thing over and over again. That's a lie. I've seen people watch streams that are literally more redundant, so I don't know why I asked that. I mean, seriously, people watch uh, speedrunners, which I'm not gonna lie, speedrunning can be exciting, but most of the time what stream, uh, speedrunning streams are is you're watching somebody replay the same part over and over and over again because they didn't get a uh, good time or something. Can't tell you how many times I've seen somebody like reset like a hundred times on a speedrun and just watching them for hours do the same thing over again. Like if people can watch that, I'd be damned if they can't watch somebody do a little grinding in a game. 
Yeah, let's head into the Giorama menu and see what we got here. We got Annie, Mr. Oh, well, we had Mr. Mustache, Kalulu. So, oh, we got some river. Very nice. The Wise Owl Shop. Guarantee you. Right, 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 right. We got a. Oh, I was wondering. There we go. Wise Owl Shop. That one's pretty obvious. do the well here I'm gonna wait on the stairs though because this guy needs stairs can't even go into his house um this guy probably goes here Buy a girl with the fox mask can finish up that guy's house who's this beautiful maid gotta be this guy right I mean it is the Baron's house don't know why I asked that Cheerful wife, cheerful hubby. Cheerful old woman? Yeah, that guy looks like a kid. Wise Owl Shop. Don't have your, uh, whatever that is, just yet. So, what am I doing? Right, I can't do watermill. Let's do the, let's just go do river. Dude's house is kind of in the way right here. It's all right. We'll just go to the move real quick. We're close. I feel like a bridge would probably be okay right there. And there. Earth. This thing is huge. Earth B, is this one smaller at least? Seems like it. Man, you might have to just, uh, I might have to move some of this. Like the river might have to go over a little sooner. Imagine having that view, huh? And then we got some trees. I don't know if these are that important yet, though. Place the water mill. Wise Owl Shop. Trying to see where the heck the front of his shop's at. I 
like right into the entrance of the uh village is probably the best huh I don't know. I see a ton of new chests, though. Repair powder. Hey there, you are here. Sit down. Oh, whoa. Hey there, you are. Come sit down, is what he said. Finally, I can settle down. I hear we owe it to you. Stay for a meal. I'll cook you something special. Mmm, I'm full. So, have you found the Moon People's Village yet? I see. Wise Owl's forest is really big, so it may not be so easy to find. Oh well, don't get discouraged. Take it easy and don't rush. Cheer up, I'll give you this. Fruit of Eden. Eden. Very nice. Good luck. Bye. Um, yeah, thanks. There's the Baron. The man should wear a good hood. How should I rebuild? I like the sound of water. I'd like to be able to hear the water. Quite loud. So he's the one who needs to be near the waterfall. He needs a roof. Simple enough. Just checking around the house for chests. Let's see, I'd like a high place where the view is good and where it's breezy. We need a second floor. I might have already given you what you need, so I probably have to ask the guy. Plant Buster. All right, got a chest up there. Nighttime scary without a torch. Another fruit of Eden. You're finally going here now. Red. Cheese. Got confused there. All right. 
out the wise owl shop here. Fire gym and bread. And he needs uh, his walkway, looks like. Then nah, we need to be on this side of the well. Cheese. Nothing. Gourd. See, they like to hide stuff. Small areas like that, though, I just spam the button. And that was it, right? I don't think these have chests on them. Yeah, for the most part... This guy needs to be near the waterfall, right? He didn't need to be up high. So he should be fine there. We'll move these mushroom people. Right here. They got the view of the waterfall and they're up high. Uh, the well, I don't really know. I, I bet you one of these other guys needs to be near. The water as well, or like up on something. Can't rotate those, huh? But yeah, it should be good. Double check the uh, Giorama now that we know what some people want. Why is Owl Entrance? Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna steal your torch, Baron. I could have stole it from the well. There we go. Who was that? It was these, these guys, right? I'm in the middle of something. Could you come up here for a sec? Lulu, don't climb up there. It's dangerous. Come on down. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was something you were saving for later. I know I ate it, but there's nothing we can do about that now. Uh, this is bad. She got mad at me and climbed up there. It was a strange looking thing and I carelessly ate it. You don't have, you don't have one, do you? It was coiled like a shell and white in color. Oh, and it was really sweet. Oh yeah. What's this? Candy. That's it. <laughs> Ointment leaf. They say in the east you make a cure all medicine from this leaf. Seems like you're traveling, so this may come in handy. So, this item, like the candy and then the leaf, it's like a little mini trade quest almost. Like one, a person in each village has a need for the item you get in the previous village and then you trade quest until you get probably a decent reward. You know your house isn't over here anymore, Baron, right? Okay, he disappeared. Yeah, I don't think the owl comes out of his home. I was hoping we could get talk to him so we could see what else he needed but I have to wait till we get the walkway for that but yeah let's go get more supplies we have so much water it's crazy I feel like we should probably get rid of some of these it's like the thing is with the um wells in the dungeon you usually don't need water because chances are you're gonna find one I'll get rid of the crappy ones, I guess. 
Um, could get rid of these stupid items too. I mean, they could come clutch, but I don't know. Make you feel thirsty. Don't know if that's worth it. We can keep one curse amulet. I don't think we need two. Okay. Let's see. Let's put some of this on the hot bar. Could put these on the hot bar instead. Save up some room. This guy doesn't have the greatest stuff like that. Why is all shop might have might have uh, better supplies like cheese? This bread heals what a little bit. I don't know what that is, but this is good recovery, fairly good. Obviously, the premium chicken is the best healing item. It's just a full heal. You imagine selling those. One, two, three. We could buy auto repair powder and put that in the water slot instead. 200 though my guy it's just so like if it was like 80 or something i'd be like okay it's the price of four you know but like it auto repairs so you don't break dude a 200 no thanks we'll just keep manually repairing i'll buy a couple more antidotes it's pretty useful in this dungeon we're good on healing i think we do need some ice 300 though I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and do it just cause, uh, whoops, I meant to just instantly buy that. I'm gonna go ahead and do it cause I don't know how rare it's gonna be to find ice. So we'll do at least one so we can start building towards. And that's a hundred for those. There we go, we're back to three each. And we still got 10 slots. You can also get rid of some space by using these. Don't know if I should save this stuff though, because we're going to have a new party member soon. And I don't know what his HP and water situation looks like. So I'll keep them in the inventory for now. We're actually just going to go straight to Wise Owl Forest. Makes sense to me. Territory 7. I don't want to turn this up a little bit, huh? Why are your footsteps so loud, my dude? That guy's attack speed is kind of nutty. All right. I like how you all have a move where you just run up and rob. Yeah, see, look, we got another uh, water well in this floor as well. So water is kind of whatever. It might be more rare in like the desert map that's in this game, but I don't remember. Thought I heard something drop there. Yikes. Another one, huh? Wait, why does this one have low health? Wait, did I not... Did I not finish off that enemy? Why did I just leave her? That's weird. Yeah, we'll play a Shao just because Tone's on the brink of death. We'll try to get to that well.
Did you want the stone? Oh, okay, nice. Well, we don't have to worry about fighting enemies if you don't want to. But I also kind of just want to farm for XP. Because we do want to try and switch to the bandit slingshot, I think. Let's see, the well was down here. Bumped with energy. There you go, Tone. Nice and healed. Try to use this attack buff all we can. Very nice. Another antidote. You little... Well, I guess we got a new antidote, right? Might as well use it. Still very annoying. All right, let's uh, move on to the next floor. I'm waiting for the event floor so we can uh, get our new party member. Don't know what floor that happens at though. shot those guys that's nice
We'll go ahead and switch here. Okay, weapon needs repair. We're pretty close to leveling up the slingshot. I should just farm a little bit more. Is there a different way to cancel? I don't think there is. I think zooming in is the best way. Yeah, we'll just stay as tone actually. I wonder if anyone would like this type of video for uh, Dark Cloud 2, if I were to play that. Just these long ones where it's just the gameplay. Because I know Dark Cloud 2 would take even longer, especially if I plan on 100 percenting, percenting and getting all the uh, photos. I'm stuck, okay. That was kind of scary. Do I even mess around with you? Well, I don't know how he dodged all that, but... I don't think you guys like ice, right? Hey, look at that, two keys back to back. Sometimes that's how it ends up being. I guess we're still on ice. I wonder if ice is good against these witches. I can't tell if that was good or bad. No! Did I have anything on this? I don't remember. Thunder. Eight with fire. That's a little better. Could just because it's really high. Another back room's entrance. Of course, I think that's in every floor. That was scary. Why do they all gotta be the freaking witch Liza or whatever the heck her name is? Liza. None of those are L's or I's. Riza. Witch Theresa. It's a Roman numeral three, maybe.
All right. Well, don't mind me. I'm just going to go back and get that. So. Well. So I can refresh health and thirst. Alright, I'm guessing it was the nut. Look at that. That was right. Alright, I don't see why we won't just go to the next floor here. Doing pretty good, I'd say. Oh, is this an event floor? Uh-oh. Am I ready for this? No, the okay, dude. Oh, well. All right, so this is the event room, finally. Yeah, we need something here to draw out the enemy. And this requires a new... Uh... The new party member, I'm pretty sure. So let's return to town. All right, we already know who that is. So we saw him already. Give him some stairs, a sign, a torch and laundry, and he's already almost done. There they go, the Baron has a house now. Here we go, we'll give you the stairs. I have a feeling you probably want to sign too, huh? Well, let's go double check. Another gourd. Cheese. Plant buster. Welcome. How should I rebuild? Uh, well, thanks for asking. Now, listen carefully. It's not going to be an easy one. I need water all around this store. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I gotta surround him in water, so that's interesting. Uh, might not be too bad. But we'll see. Depends on how much river we get, honestly. Which we got a ton more. Yeah, let's remove. Let's just get rid of this for a sec. I think we can move him over here. He could still be fairly close to the uh, the entrance. But we'll just have to get around him in water. Wow, 
like that. Yeah, because he can't. This is as far as we can go this way. He won't fit in there. Well. Sorry, let me redo this here. See you guys. We can still have him in front of the. Uh, the stuff here. We just need this to like open up. You can still have his shop like smack dab right as you walk in. Well, maybe right here. like that I guess and then we'll have a bridge bridge and a bridge we also have a bridge and a bridge chances are we're gonna have too many bridges anyway and then the water mill We go right there still. Let's go see what the Baron wants real quick. Or like what his reward is. Come closer. Take a seat. What should we talk about today? I promise to tell you anything. Village history. This is called the Matataki Village. How it came to be called that. Let's see. Can't remember how it's got its name. I'm getting old. Ah, oh, whoops. I didn't mean to redo that. But the mayor's youth, me. I was one hell of a guy. For one thing, I won the post. As village chief on my own, probably not even Fudo would have been able to match, match for me back then. Udo? He was the strongest hunter. Invincible was the word for him. No one could beat him until five years ago, that is. He just disappeared, leaving his only son all alone. He has a great gentle nature, a bit chubby, but he has the instincts of a hunter. He is Fudo's son, after all. He could become a great hunter, but there's no hope with him, being the way he is now. The day Fudo disappeared, his heart became covered with thick ice. How can we melt the ice in his heart? I'm quite eloquent, aren't I? But for now, eh? Come back whenever you feel like hearing stories from me. Here's a gift. Oh, a gourd. Gourds for days. We still haven't got what we needed to get him out of his treehouse. So I'm still trying to... Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we just gotta talk to him again. I should have asked him if that's what he wanted, was to be near the waterfall, if I was right. There's some chests in here anyway. Thanks, you can hear it. Okay, yeah, he just needs to be the waterfall. Be near the waterfall. What about you guys? How do I get that chest? The heck? Do you just have to not be right there? Let's see. I'd like a high place where the view is good and where it's breezy. So you don't want to be near the waterfall. Because you're literally high up and near a uh, waterfall that seems like a good view to me unless I gotta like rotate your uh 
home to face the waterfall? Or something stupid like that? Nah, you probably just want to be near one of the lakes or something. I really want this chest that you won't move away from. So how about I just uh, get rid of you? How's that sound? All right, where's the owl shop? All right, here. Sign. Bam. Okay. We gotta place this guy and see what he needs. Haven't seen you around here? Nice to meet you. Wait, you've heard of me? Writing songs needs inspiration. That means you need to hear the voices of nature. So he just wants to be near the dungeon? Question mark? The forest? I think I got pretty damn close, dude. Right, that is the forest entrance. Or no, this is. Guess I'll just put you over here. You don't have much in terms of decorations, so maybe I'll throw a well right here. There's so much water everywhere, I don't know why you would need a well. But... I don't know, whatever. We'll get rid of it. Tree... Wait, he might not even want it to be near the forest. He probably just wanted trees, right? That actually makes more sense. How about we just give you all the trees, dude? I forgot a river. Wait, did we actually connect all this? Oh, we did, nice. Can extend out a little bit. Can't put anything over here. I don't know. Looks kind of dorky, doesn't it? Oh well. I don't have any more bridges. Maybe I'll take these.
sure. Dude, what's a good view, man? Whatever. I have no idea. What do these guys want? I don't even remember. I guess I should probably go talk to him again. I don't remember what they needed. Anyway, let's do that owl event. What are those guys doing? Oh, and now we got the river flowing. I also saw a chest back here by the waterfall. Hey, a fluffy donut. Might be able to fish off that. Hoo hoo wise owl shop is open after remodeling. I certainly appreciate all you have done, sir. All right, who just for you, sir, a special discount offer. Look at this. Ooh, the wise owl sword. Just a minute. Don't misunderstand. I didn't say it was free. Still have to charge you. I'll give you a discount price. Let me see. 5,000. Still too high. 2,500. It's in a bog forest. Twenty five hundred, yeah, that's pretty steep still. We got cheese though. Plant Buster. So that's kind of interesting. Um do I sell the bait? I don't probably not. I probably should keep it. Yeah, that's a long ways off. We could replace our inventory with cheese later though. Let's have the fluffy donut. Get our defense up. We have three gourds, just crazy. Some level up powder. Why is owl sword? I think you could make that build up to that on your own. Bro, you got trees, my guy. You're near the dungeon and everything. I mean, unless it has to be like right next to the dungeon. 
In which case I messed up by putting the river here. All right, you can't get any further back than that. I guess we'll do that. I don't know. This is the high earth, right? Compared to this one. Maybe they have to be on a certain earth. The one mushroom people. I'm not entirely sure. All right, you're still being weird. Do I just have to literally cover your house? Like, in trees? Probably. I don't know. Maybe I need more trees. We'll come back to that. Dude, what? Where are you at then? There you are. Okay, you want to just be near the pond. Well, I did it. Accidentally. Water mill, that's right. It can be done. I didn't forget anyone, right? Baby, I don't know what you want, dude. High view and where it's breezy, like, is that not where I put you? Is it too high or something? I don't know. We'll figure that out later. We'll have to wait for the guy to come back anyway. Another plant buster. That should be everything placed at least, right? Yes, indeed. All right, we just gotta go talk to this tree.
Use an item. Let's use the earrings. Nice chests in the background there that we can grab. Hey, hey, so tell me, little one. Is it you who saved me? Oh, good heaven, so it was you. Thank you, thank you, thanks so much. Let me reward you with something then, little one. Sneeze, very nice. That's a great reward. There you go. There, go on. Please accept this. This is what all hunters long for. It's a rare legendary item. The serpent. Serpent sword. The sword never breaks, not until it not until accomplished its mission. That is. But once the sword once the mission is over, it's a breakable sword like any other. It's a rare item. Take care of it. Fruit of another fruit of Eden and another gourd. Well, it's you again. What can I do? So you want to delve into the deep pools of my knowledge. How do I reach the moon people? Brown Boo Village. That's what it's called. It's at the far end in the woods, but you'll have to use your head a bit if you want to get in. Understand what I mean. Who's the guy living up in the tree? Must be Goro. No one likes him. Got a rotten personality. Been that way ever since his dad, Fudo, passed away. He didn't used to be like that. He was a kind-hearted kid. Maybe if he finds out the truth, he'll become that kid I once knew. What? What truth? What did you say? Well, that is what that. Well, well, that is what you have to find out. Chances are people in the village will not tell you either. It's a tightly kept secret. Okay, so I don't actually think we can uh, get him yet. I think we're going to do one more thing before we end this episode. And that's... Find out the truth. Where is his house anyway over here? Oh, I'm going to laugh if that's his house and this was the entrance to the village and I got the owl mixed up. Let's see. Yep, whoopsie. Dude, another gourd. That's insane. There's another one, Mimic Breaker. I uh, can't really turn the camera too well here. Hoping we're not missing any. Yeah, I think we should be good. Unless any more spawn later. Which is possible. You don't give up, do you? What do you want? Killer snake, that thing really exists? Did it really get my paw? Oh, never mind, you wouldn't know anyway. Um, well, what do I do with that? <laughs> it doesn't want my premium chicken. Interesting. So somebody has to know, right? Maybe the old man. I talk to him again. Let's uh, rotate this dude's shop. So it makes more sense. Let this guy know.
Uh, yeah, let's just talk to the Baron. It seems like... Okay, never mind. I already did that. We did all we could for Giorama, right? Oh. I guess there's that. Don't know if that'll make a huge difference, though. We'll see. Ah, it's you. The house is back now. I can finally sing again, thanks to you. Have you listen to something of mine? The song's titled Legendary Hunter. Fudo, mighty Fudo, will find his prey. This legendary hunter we all admire. No fiercest bear's claw, no white tiger's fang will ever douse his raging fire. Never misses his mark, and even the deepest dark, brave legend of the hunt will never tire. Original piece. It's tribute to Fudo. Cool, isn't it? Power of prominence. Five years since he left. No one could beat him. Was invincible. Fighting the white tiger, he killed that very white tiger in one blow. Entire village was respected. Like magic, I could do anything. We would disappeared. Killed by a killer snake. No half-foot killer snake could stand a chance against our hero. I'm right, right? Loot I made myself. Has a good sound to it. Okay. Sounds like a mouse. Don't play it in strange places. Perfect. All right, let me go back in there. No chests in here, really. That's surprising. Maybe not now. Definitely, probably later. That was a lot of oxymorons there. All right, now we can go do this. We're just missing that one thing. All right, time to focus. Dang, and I missed one, dude, which is sad. Serpent Sword has completed its mission. It is now an evolvable sword. Bone Pendant. Unfortunately, he did get eaten. Sorry to say. 
I just realized leaving the dungeon with the snake there was actually wasting powder. Crazy. All right, now we can, uh, go see Goro and give him his dad's pendant and maybe he'll join us. Goro, how have you been? Dad, where the heck have you been? I thought you were dead. I'm sorry, Goro. Forgive me for having suddenly left you all alone. Goro, I am no longer of this world. I am a spirit now. No way you're lying. It's the truth. Before I died, I put a message for you into a pendant. Father, you see is that message. Listen carefully, Goro. The evil force that attacked this village is now devouring the entire world. With your allies, you must stop it. If you are really my son, then show me. Honor me and all hunters through your courage in battle. No, no way. Everybody in the village left you to die. I ain't gonna help those cowards. You misunderstand them. I was not betrayed by my fellow villagers. As you know, I was said to be the best hunter in the village. I killed even that brutal white tiger with one blow. But my blood, my, but my body was being gradually weakened by an illness, and I realized I had very little time left for myself. I was a prideful hunter, and my pride would not allow me to die of illness. I wanted to die in battle as a hunter should. One day I went into the woods where the fearful killer snake dwelt, taking with me several villagers. I thought the powerful killer snake would be a perfect opponent to end my career as a hunter, but deep inside I wanted to die in this battle. That very hunt was my plan to end my life with pride. Thus I challenged the killer snake to a reckless fight. I of course fought my best, but it was obvious I was not a match for the killer snake with my body weakened by illness. In the end the killer snake got me and started to squeeze me slowly, and soon I saw my fading flame of life started to flicker away. It was what I had wished for. The villagers that were with me left quietly. I still remember the sadness in their eyes. They probably all knew. Knowing it all, they started to see it through to the end. They still to this day speak of me as the strongest hunter that ever was. You can call them cowards, Goro, but they kept the truth hidden out of respect for me. But why? Why did you do that? One day you'll understand. I'm a hunter. I wanted to die a hunter. And you, you're also a hunter. Go fight. Join with other warriors and fight evil. Be greater than me. Hmm. Goro, I'm always with you. I hate you, Pa. <laughs> what are you looking at? Me saving the world? Not likely, but I want to give you it a shot anyway. Not for the villagers or for dad, but for me. I'll fight for me. I'll become Goro, mighty hunter of legend. Call me whenever you're in trouble. I'll do better than you. All right, dude. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see if he had any chests in here now. He did. He had premium chicken. Fruit of Eden. Beast Buster. I think that was it. Oh, 
Never mind. All right, we're full though. Now that he's here though, let's uh, use these. Yeah, I had a feeling he was gonna be low on water. Shao's still low. We'll get him up one more too. And is Tone maxed yet? No. That's gotta be close to max though. And his health is also 100. Very nice. His defense is only 12, but that's already pretty high starting. I'll make Xiao not so weak, honestly. We'll catch her up, and then we'll be tanky, me and Goro. 110. Alright, we got no weapons for you, but that's fine. How is this snake sword, by the way? 22? It's definitely decent. Let's reorganize that a little bit, though. There we go, we're gonna organize by our most powerful swords first and then the weakest swords. So we can swap fast if we need to. But yeah, there we go, we got a new party member. And I think with that, it's actually a good place to stop. Then we'll come back to that door next time and travel further into the dungeon with the new party member in tow. Yeah, thanks everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you thought, or just say hi, that's fine. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. I do appreciate it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.